Welcome back to the uh, Henry Cho Comedy Show. Coming up next, dear friend of mine, very funny lady, let's have a big hand for Miss Karen Mills. Thank you, thank you so much. Yes, I am a Tennessee girl, but even though I was born and raised in the South, I am not a Southern belle. <laughs> Unless, of course, I need to be. <laughs> Like when I'm in the air, poet. <laughs> Struggling with all that old heavy luggage. I can always find a nice, strong man to carry my bags. And people think we're stupid. But since I travel so much, I use a lot of public restrooms. And now that I've gotten older, I have to carry with me antibacterial wipes so I can clean the seat because I no longer have the thighs to hover. <laughs> I wish they'd put one of those handicap bars on the back of the door. Give me something I can work with. <laughs> and my memory is shot. A conversation with me has become like a game of charades. The other day I was trying to think of this actor's name and I said to my friend, oh, he, he has dark hair. He was in that movie. Um, oh, God, you know him. He, uh, he married a, what's her name? <laughs> she was on that show with those other girls and they were in New York. Couldn't come up with anything, and then when it finally comes to me, it's like Tourette's. Three days later, I'm standing in line at the grocery store, and out of nowhere, I go, Matthew Broderick. <laughs> it's crazy. And now, when I'm driving, if I'm not sure where I'm going, I have to turn the radio down so I can see. <laughs> and the other day I was pulled over, and let me just say that with a driving record like mine, I'll do just about anything to avoid a ticket. So when the officer approached the window, I said, oh, oh my. <laughs> Officer, well, if I'd known you're so handsome, I'd have pulled you over. <laughs> Cause I would have to charge you with concealing a dangerous weapon. <laughs> hey, got me a date. In court. Those lady cops are tough. But I see a lot of funny things on the road. Uh, the other day I saw a billboard that said, we buy ugly houses. So I called them and gave them my neighbor's address. <laughs> but I just bought a new house and uh, when I moved in, the first problem I had to deal with was I had this huge ant problem. So I called the pest control guy to come out and I said, I have got a zillion ants. He said, that's not a problem because all we have to do is kill the queen and the workers commit suicide. I said, and you know this because they leave little notes? <laughs> or do they climb up on the roof while the fire ants try to talk them down? <laughs> he said he killed the queen, but I know he didn't because I could still hear show tunes coming from the colony. a tree blocking my view as I backed out of my driveway, so I'll call a guy to come and cut the tree. He cuts the tree, and I said, well, that's great, but what about the stump? Sorry, lady, all I do is cut the tree. You want the stump removed, you'll need to call a stump guy. So I find a stump guy, he comes out and removes the stump, and now I have this giant hole in my yard. <laughs> I said, well, aren't you going to fill in the hole? Mm, no, ma'am, I'm just a stump guy. 
you want the hole filled in, you'll need to call a landscaper. So I call a landscaper. I said, look, I'm on my way out of town. Just come in and make it look good. I get home. He's planted a tree. <laughs> hey, thank you so much. I'm Karen Mills. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Karen Mills. Karen Mills, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Now, Terry and I, we've, we've been friends a long time. Matter of fact, when you first started, you and I actually worked together. Yes, we did. And uh, something that people don't know about you, not many people know, uh, is that uh, you were an All-American basketball player at University of Tennessee Chattanooga. Thank you. Yes, I was. And do you know that when people find out I played college ball, the first thing they say is, yeah, but did you graduate? I'm like, yes, and I don't appreciate what you're incinerating. That's a no then. Okay. <laughs> but I do know you really well, and I love your dog. How's your dog doing? My dog is great. The only thing is the vet fussed at me the other day because she's overweight. And it's so sad because she has got such a pretty face. <laughs> that is my favorite joke. <laughs> 